A computer worm is a program which copies itself across a network. It differs from a computer virus in that it can run itself. A virus needs a host program to run, and the virus program runs as part of the host program. A computer worm can spread without a host program. Examples of computer worms are Email worms. These are worms that are spread via infected email messages. Any form of attachment or link in an email may contain a link to an infected website. Infection can be in two ways. That is, it can be activated when the user clicks on the attachment or it can be activated when the user clicks on the link in the email. These are worms spread via instant messaging applications. For example, Yahoo Messenger, Yahoo Messenger by sending links to infected websites to everyone on the local contact list. These copy themselves into a shared folder, most likely located on the local machine. The worm will place a copy of itself in the shared folder under a harmless name. It then spreads to other computers on the network. Internet worms will scan through all available network resources using local operating system services and scans the internet for unprotected machines. They attempt to connect to these machines in order to gain full access to them. Errors and Accidents Listen to this story about Patriot missile failure. On February 25, 1991, during the Gulf War, an American Patriot missile battery in Dharan, Saudi Arabia, failed to intercept an incoming Iraqi SCAD missile. The SCAD struck an American army barracks and killed 28 soldiers. A report of the General Accounting Office, GAO Hash IMTEC 9226, entitled Patriot Missile Defense. Software problem led to system failure at Dharan, Saudi Arabia reported on the cause of the failure. It turns out that the cause was an inaccurate calculation of the time since boot due to computer arithmetic errors. Here is another story about a computer error linked to horrific Cantor's jet plunge. People's error. That is a fact of life. People are not precision machinery designed for accuracy. In fact, people make mistakes when entering data into the computer, some of which can be fatal as indicated in the quoted stories. Wrong procedural errors, they occur when the correct procedure or steps are not followed. It may result to breakdown of the system, thereby disrupting business. Electromechanical problems Mechanical systems such as the printers, circuit boards, input devices may get dirty, overheat, wear out, or could be faultily constructed, leading to a system shutdown. Consider a situation whereby the printer's electric system short circuits when students' report forms are being produced. This may cause the production of report forms to stop, making the students go without report forms. Dirty data is a term used to describe typographical errors in data entered into a computer. This makes data to be incomplete, outdated, and otherwise inaccurate. It can range from shoplifting of computer accessories in a computer shop, to stealing of laptops from cars, to computers from a building or room, to removal of computer parts such as memories. Your school has just purchased 500,000 Kenya shillings worth of new computer equipment to replace existing equipment. These computers disappear before they are installed. Theft is a crime against computers. It includes theft of hardware, software, and computer time. Stealing software can take the form of physically taking off with someone's CDs but it is more likely to be copying of programs. This can also be termed as piracy. 
Some natural disasters can wreck the entire system. For example, natural hazards such as floods, earthquakes, tornadoes, hurricane, and the like are harmful to computers and communication systems. Other hazards such as civil strife, unrest, and wars can take place leading to destructions of computers and communication systems. For example, as stated earlier, an unauthorized access can either be physical or logical. User access levels determine how users have access to different parts of the system depending on their role or position within the organization. Access levels determine what data the user can view, copy, and edit. Backup prefers to making copies of data so that these additional copies may be used to store the original after a data loss event. This data encryption is the process of scrambling stored or transmitted information so that it is meaningless until it is unscrambled by the intended user. Historically, data encryption has been used primarily to protect diplomatic and military secrets from foreign governments. It is also now used increasingly by the financial industry to protect electronic funds transfers EFT by merchants to protect credit card information in electronic commerce and by corporations to secure sensitive communications of proprietary information. Proprietary information is information on which the producer has set restrictions on use, private modification, copying or republishing. To control viruses and worms attack to a computer system, antivirus software is used. For antivirus software to be effective, constant updates are required to manage new and upcoming viruses. The following are some of the control measures that can be used to check errors and accidents in computer systems. To control natural calamities and other hazards, keep backup copies of the original data or information. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify types of computer crimes and describe how to protect data or information against computer crimes. Computer crimes can be of two types. It can be an illegal act perpetrated against computers and communication systems, or it can be the use of computers and communication systems to accomplish an illegal act. Computer fraud is any dishonest misinterpretation of fact intended to induce another to do or refrain from doing something which causes loss. It is the illegal connection of a computer to a network with the intention of listening to data signal or transit. This is also referred to as eavesdropping. Computer piracy is the reproduction, distribution, and use of software without the permission of the owner of copyright. A log file is a file that lists actions that have occurred. For example, this is deliberate destruction or damage of computer systems or obstruction of normal operations of a computer system. Audit trail. This is a record showing who has accessed a computer system and what operations he or she has performed during a given period of time. This refers to the process of person without authorization intentionally gaining access to a computer and communication systems of another with the intent to copy, alter, delete data, or cause a computer malfunction. Laws There has been a growing concern about the threats that computers pose to personal privacy. Most countries around the world have introduced laws to safeguard the privacy of the individual. The Establishment of Data Protection Act, DPA, in most countries